Well, as time progressed, the company in the 60s uh, moved away from uh, being a company-run town, and they turned the business of, of the community over to its citizens, and Walter Tucker became the first mayor. So the town progressed relatively uh, well in those early days with a strong commitment from the company in, in a lot of areas. But in the 80s, um, the South and Central Health Foundation was established. And once the foundation was established, the paper company came on board with a major pledge of $650,000 over a five-year period. The interesting thing, of course, about that $650,000 pledge is that over the period of that five years, the company went through a uh, depression in, uh, in the newsprint business. It went from being profitable in the first year of that pledge to being not profitable in the second and third years, and then eventually be returned to profitability again. Well, of course, there was a fairly small staff. Uh, we had two groups of general practitioners, the Grand Falls Medical Clinic and the Family Practice Clinic. And then uh, there was uh, only uh, one surgeon initially when I came, with Dr. Bob O'Driscoll, and later Dr. Sullivan came and joined him. And of course Dr. Alexander did surgery and obstetrics and general practice. And then we only had one internist, Dr. J. Lee, and uh, one um, pediatrician, Dr. Jack Crosby, and uh, we had uh, one obstetrician, Dr. Bo Epstein.